What is good everyone? Welcome to the channel. It has been a minute because I haven't bought anything in the longest time. I've just been producing, putting together my videos about Japan life and culture for that side of my channel, but I haven't done an actual pickup video in a while because I haven't bought anything. And today I'm here to tell you why you should not buy these for resale. Let's see what these are and get into why you shouldn't pay resale for them. Let's go. All right, inside we have this red, some people call it orange, I think it's red, red Nike box. It is in my size. And inside we have none other than the shoe that has been restocking and restocking and restocking and restocking and that is how I got these Dunk Low in the black and white Panda colorway. They restocked for like, I don't know, like the fourth or fifth time on the Nike app. I don't think they ever restock on sneakers app in Japan, but the Nike app itself has had several restocks as well as other boutique stores, um, ABC Mart, which is a big shoe store in Japan. They've done a bunch of restocks of these, but they just keep restocking and restocking again and again. Ah, the smell of victory. Finally getting a pair myself for retail. So I've seen these on feet around town and I've heard or watched other shoe tubers talk about them, but now I actually get to inspect them myself. Let's see what these are all about. Okay, I get it. I get it. They are clean, easy to style, black and white colorway that's going to go with just about anything. And let's be honest, a lot of the general release random Nike sneakers that you can find in any store at any time anywhere, a lot of them are just black and white because that's the colorway that is going to be easy to wear. People just pick it up. It's a shoe that you can throw on anytime. And this is that, but in a hyped silhouette, the Nike Dunk Low. Now I've heard people comment on the quality being not all that great. You put them on feet, they crease right away. And they're just, I mean, I've heard people call them trash. I'm going to be honest with you. They are just a standard Dunk Low you know, it's not a collaboration, it's not an SB, it's not something with a storyline behind it. Basically, it is meant to be an everyday wear shoe and they're not spending a lot of extra on the materials to put these together and they've been so popular, why would you need to? I don't, I don't hate it. I don't dislike the fact that it's not going to be the most fantastic quality compared to other releases, but that's not what these are supposed to be for. Now, why should you not pay resale for these? Let's get into that. I mean, I just went on why these look great and why these are going to go with anything and why you shouldn't really worry about whether they're good quality or not. None of that's important. The reason why you shouldn't pay resale for these is the fact that they just keep restocking. And Nike has basically said that they're just going to continue to keep on restocking and restocking. And all you have to do is look at the resale prices and see that they've gone down and down and down. These are sitting on the Japan resale market right now at about 20,000 yen, 21,000 yen, which is 200, $210. So I think the real storyline here is that just keep trying. It's not summer yet. These are going to be a good summer sneaker. So basically what I just recommend is keep trying and trying for retail. Eventually it's going to come through or there's going to be so many pairs flooding the market that that resale is just going to keep getting lower and lower. It's going to continue that trend, in my opinion, of starting off over $300 at some point, down to $250, down to $200. I think it's just going to be soon enough that there's going to be so many pairs out there that even if you pay resale, it's going to be $20, $30 over retail. So wait at least for that. Don't pay resale on these anytime soon because they're going to keep coming out. And because they're going to keep coming out, that's maximizing more chances for you to get them for retail. And if you're the type of person that doesn't really want to chase all of the restocking and have to keep checking Twitter to see has it restocked and, you know, checking the apps all the time. If you're not into that kind of thing, 
then just wait for the resale price to drop as well because I'm pretty convinced it will. And I think just the fact that I was able to get these on a restock finally maybe speaks to the fact that they're getting easier to get as well. So there it is. Don't pay resale for these. If you love them, just be patient. Just wait a little bit and I'm sure a pair of these will eventually fall into your lap. Yeah. And I can get why you'd want them to fall into your lap. These are pretty damn nice. Okay. That's all I've got to say about these. Just wanted to show off my first pickup in, what, at least a month? I don't remember the last pair of shoes I bought was. Anyway, just wanted to share my pickup and share my thoughts on why you shouldn't be spending too much money on these. I hope this was useful and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you next time. Be sure to check out my other part of my channel, which is about life in Japan, if that sort of thing interests you. All right, cool. Catch you on the next video. Peace.